What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. Uh, tonight, man, I'm going to talk about, you know, some positive news and some not so positive news. Um, I'm going to talk about former LSU Tiger Alan Fanica finally gets the call and tonight is entering the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And I'm also going to, um, Talk about the late Bobby Bowden. Um, Bobby Bowden, Florida State's legendary coach, has passed away. Um, and I'm going to just talk about some memories, you know, that I had of him. Um, before I get into this video, yo, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Uh, come holla at your boy, yo. Also, if you a Madden 21 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Madden um, Gamma Tag down in the description box also. First off, man, I'm um congratulations, man. A big round of applause to former LSU Tiger Alan Fanica. Um, tonight, he's going to be going into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Looking forward to checking out his speech later. I mean, you know, a lot of people has called him the most dominant pulling guard in NFL history. Like, he was known as a, a, an athletic pulling guard, yo, just, you know, nine-time pro bowler, yo. Like, the guy was amazing. Um, you know, what really is a testament to him, you know, is when Jerome Bettis, the bus, went into the Hall of Fame uh, about a couple of years ago or whatnot. One of the people that he says needs to be in the Hall of Fame is Alan Fanica. Because he said Alan Fanica cleared the way for him a whole lot. Like for a lot of a lot of his Hall of Fame carries that he had. Um finishing I think what what top five or whatever in all time rushing yards or whatnot. So um yeah glad to see him in there. He was an all American at LSU. Obviously a big time player there. Um you know didn't really get to go through the LSU glory years we had since Saban been there. But um, nevertheless, man, a, a man stayed just another Hall of Famer that we're adding to the LSU, um, you know, foundation. You know, we had Kevin Mawai uh, a couple of years ago. You know, um, we, we we starting to put him out there, yo. We starting to put him out there, man. And I'm proud, a proud LSU um, supporter, fan. Uh, to see him get in there, yo. It, it's really good to see He's definitely um, well deserving and big time, yo. Um, and on a, another note, yo, I want to send my condolences to the Bobby Bowden family. Um, Bobby Bowden, Florida State's legendary head coach, has passed away this morning at the age of 91. Um, we knew that he was suffering with cancer about a few weeks ago. It was put out there. Look, man, obviously he's one of the greatest coaches to ever coach. Um, those Florida State teams were were. were Big time, you know, you think about the players, you know, you've had Deion Sanders and the Charlie Wards and the Warwick Dunn's and Peter Warwick's and, you know, the Chris Winkies. You know, Florida State had some players. They had some really, really good competitive teams. Um, You know, he won a national championship. Uh, I forgot who they played in the early 90s. I know he won one. But the one I remember... um was when they beat Mike Mike Vick and Virginia Tech. They played over in New Orleans. Uh, and that Florida State team was just absolutely loaded. Um, you know, lost another cha uh, championship. Lost to, um, lost two of them, actually. They lost one to Tennessee and one to Oklahoma. But um, those Florida State teams were always competitive. They was always in the mix. Um, they was always in the national championship picture. Those legendary Florida State versus Miami rivalry games were just... You know, as an outsider and someone not involved in that rivalry or that conference like that, they were fun to watch. They were definitely fun games to watch. Um, and, and it wasn't just his coaching. Uh, I liked him as a as a person, man. He he just had this he had this 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 lovable personality out there when you seen him speak to the media. Um, clearly, I didn't know him personally, but when I would see him do, you know, interviews and stuff like that, he just always, he never seemed like he was in a bad mood, even if the team was playing bad. He just always, he had just had a lovable character. He was very, um, just very fun going, yo. Just seemed like a good coach, seemed like a good guy. Um, 
I was a fan of his, yo. I was a fan of his. I like watching him coach, like watching him do interviews and everything. And like I said, his Florida State teams were talented. They were loaded. And uh and they, they showed they bought some good football to college football, yo. So um my prayers and my condolences go to Bobby Bowden, um, in the Florida State community. Um great man, great coach. Um it was part of my era. I grew up watching him do his thing, yo. So rest in peace. To Mr. Bobby Bowden and congratulations to former LSU Tiger Alan Fanica on being inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame tonight. Um, but with that being said, y'all, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm gonna have LSU and uh, NCAA content throughout the year. Also, on next Saturday and on Saturdays at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 Central, 10 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live. Uh, Y'all should join me. It'll be some fun stuff. And also on, on Sundays from 1, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central, 8 a.m. Pacific, I co-host Big Time Sports Talk with Mike the Bandit. Um, it's a whole lot of fun. So y'all y'all tune in, download the ESPN 1420 a.m. app, and uh, come give us a listen, yo. Until then, y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.